Hi everyone, welcome back to the final part of Downhill Jam for the PlayStation 2. Um, if you listened to the last part of the um, playthrough, it should be next day. Like, I'll try to upload this Tuesday. Well, the last episode should be on Tuesday, and this one should be Wednesday. If you listen to the last episode, I got pretty heated. I'm still pretty mad. Um, I'm going to continue what I was saying, just because I was kind of on a tangent and I got cut off because the video was shorter than I thought. Um, regarding original scripts, um, shit talking, and having a tiny penis, um, I think it's just stupid. I, I don't... I don't mind getting criticism. Criticism's fine. But if you're going to just keep it within your circle and act as though you're superior because you know these bugs and you can point them out every single time a newcomer comes along and says, Hey, I want to play Pro Skater 4 PlayStation 1 levels. Insert level here. They can be like, Oh, there's a glitchy texture in college. You you don't want to play that. Like, I think their initial response should be, well, did you contact the person who made it? And they'll be stuck in their fucking, uh, you know, track right there, being like, uh, no, <laughs> I'm I'm anti, I'm anti Pro Skater X, something like that. So. When you're so caught up in your own bullshit and your own absolute crazy world that you just don't care to help make make levels better or you don't care about the community, something that we're constantly accused of not caring about, but I'm pretty sure, I'm more than sure that that's the one thing we care about the most. Anyway, if you're not gonna direct bugs towards me, I'm not going to fix them. So if I don't fix them, they're going to continue to be bugs. If you want a better level, report the damn bugs. Don't be a piece of shit and keep them to yourself so you can use it as ammunition. Sure, he should have play tested it before he built it. I did. I did it by myself. I didn't do it with anyone else. Well, I might have done it with someone else on a couple levels. But I spend like at least an hour playing the final build and then I release it. Just because I don't come across a bug in my one hour of playing doesn't mean there aren't bugs. I know they're probably there. I just haven't hit, hit everything. You want me to play the fucking level for two years straight and say it's still unfinished? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to release the level in the state that I believe it's, a, it's finished. If there's a bug, let me know. I'll fix it. I'll update it. You can argue, I don't want to download 300 different versions of the file. I don't update it every single tiny bug I get. I get a couple of them and then I update them. I haven't updated college yet because I haven't... I really have no reason to do that because I I did fix all the, the texture errors. That was the first one I did. So there's at least a couple errors in there. Um, I will admit, but they weren't told to me firsthand. Imagine that. Imagine being told bugs firsthand and having them right away so you could fix them so they could get a better version of the level. Imagine that. It's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing to think that you could probably make something better if you told the creator that it... Yeah, whatever, I've made my point plenty. Anyway, I've, I've been dealing with that for the past two weeks as well, where I'm being constantly accused of just absolute bull because... <laughs> Because someone's so caught up in their own fucking bullshit. I feel like just going off on it too. Because I really have nothing to lose. I honestly don't even care at this point. Because it's it's just so much stupidity that it's just toxic. It's toxic and they're toxic. But they, they probably get off on hearing me talk about it. I was accused of, uh, of stealing scripts that they... That they um, they used in a, in a level of theirs um, but I think uh, when they deleted their message to me their direct message to me on discord and then blocked me afterwards so I wouldn't respond I think that's when they realized that their levels one not released two not made public only released to a couple people privately for, for beta testing 
And three, the fucking code is in the source code for Thug1. It's not a secret. Thug1 source code has been out forever. It's not a secret. It's a function that is described in the Thug1 source code. It was not stolen by some script that we don't have. We don't have scripts. We don't steal scripts either. Why would I? It just doesn't make sense. Exactly why I... I woke up at like 2 o'clock in the morning to a message on my phone, like a push message um, from Discord, from the person. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? And I looked in all that kind of bullshit. So I go to respond to them, telling them, look, you're fucking stupid for several reasons. Um, for the reasons I just named. And, you know... They blocked me, and they, they uh, removed their messages, because that's... Who wants to own up to real things, right? Who wants to be a man? Seems to be the common theme around here. I'll, I'll just, uh, I'll end it on that. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop being so heated on this, because I know it'll come back to me anyways. So. It'll come back to me saying, oh, Tyler talked shit, and you should talk more shit about him. Like, oh, I'm doing it on a public forum, though. Imagine that. Whatever. I don't, I don't really appreciate any kind of disrespect towards the people I associate with, or anyone that I'm friends with, or falsely accusing somebody of anything. I think that's entirely wrong. And to just live in that kind of lie... It's just ridiculous. And to and what worries me is that they might not be self-aware that they're living in the lie that they call their lives. And that's that's really sad. That's incredibly sad to hear that somebody would build themselves up so high to be this incredible, incredible creator when what they've created is next to nothing literally next to nothing no custom content no custom anything programming there's no custom programming if you constantly rely on sucking the developers dicks are you getting anything done yourself i don't think so i think you i think the answer lies right there you're not doing anything yourself sure you can learn what they're saying I've definitely gone through my lessons with Gon. I've had many discussions with Gon about scripting. I've had many discussions with Gon about how things go down. And I've discussed many things with Gon about just things that I want to work on. And if I ever get a script done that has Gon's involvement, I will include credit to him. I will not claim it as my own. I'm not going to say, Oh, I wrote this script. He helped me with the speedometer script that you guys have been seeing on my channel. All three of them he helped me with. The thaw one, he didn't help me as much, but he did. He pointed out a stupid mistake I made, so I'll still, I still gram so much credit. He's done so much for me. And if you would just ever give credit to those that help you rather than claiming them as your own, you might not live the lie that you so call your life it's just insane you can't claim to write things yourself when you've never done them yourself the scripts for the London rain that was done before me and before you and I know it was done before you because you took it from the person that was done before you there's no secret here it's all in the source code anyway just silly it's so it's so silly i hope none of you who are listening now ever get caught up in lies that make your life seem so miserable because there's some people out there that just live on lie to lie on lie it's insane if you can't even be honest with yourself then why bother why bother interact with people nobody wants to deal with somebody that that just constantly lies and deceits people i don't want to be associated with people that just you know get caught up in their own lies you know if i want to rely on somebody 
I'm going to rely on somebody. I'm not, it's not my responsibility to know whether you're a lying sack of shit or not, you know? I'm not going to think before I ask you a favor is, is this guy for real? I'm going to think, well, he's proven himself through the things that he's claims he claims he done. So I'm going to ask him for his help. But when you just redirect people to other people saying, oh, this is probably your best bet, that kind of shows that you really didn't do much of anything if I'm asking relevant questions. I'm going on a huge tangent here. I just want you guys to know that if you find yourself snowballing a lie, just stop. Find where the lies begin and just cut them right there. Do not lie. Lying is just an, a garbage way of living. There's no reason to lie to anyone ever. White lies, big lies, it all ends the same, man. There's always some kind of downfall. And it's just crazy. It's crazy, man. I'm telling you. I would never lie to anybody. I would never lie to make myself seem better than anyone else. This whole tangent I've been on is not so I can feel like the superior person in this situation. It's because I'm just, I'm a human being who's tired of being treated like trash because someone else lies about their life. You know what I mean? If you, like, you could think of that stereotypical bully that's like, you know, I'm hot shit, whatever, I'm cooler than you, whatever fucking high school or middle school stuff is it's like no he's sad and he's annoying and he's just garbage and he knows so he takes it out on you because he knows that you know picking on you is what builds his ego this is exactly what this is it's just bullying in a really silly manner because we're all working towards the same goal here but yet we're we're fighting it at every, each other's throats I s no I'm cutting it right there I don't include any we in that. Not I. There is no I involvement. If I say we, that means I'm part of it. I'm not at anyone's throat. When I did the Pro Skater 1, uh, no, the PlayStation 1 levels, in no way in my mind thought, oh, this is going to get real rowdy. This is going to get people really mad. Like, no. I thought in my head, People deserve to have these levels noted and uploaded. So that's why Nuts and I did it. Nuts and I made the levels, you know, so people could play them. Not to spite people like fucking children, man. We're adults. Nuts is younger than me, and we're adults, man. We're adults. Clearly you see who the kid is in the situation. It's just... It's silly. It's so silly. I don't even know how to explain it. I wish I could spend more time talking about this. But man, <laughs> it gets me so mad. And that, and getting mad about that kind of thing shows that you care. It's because you don't get why people are that way. You just don't get why people have to live that lie. And they'll never change no matter how many times they say they'll change. Because once you live that lie long enough, honestly, it's going to take a lot more than words to, to make that change. I've learned that from many people I've known in my lives, not just online people. I don't associate with many online liars. Many. I don't really associate with any online liars. I don't think I, I, don't think I do. Because I trust them. I trust the people that I talk to. I trust the people that I actually associate with. And when I cut ties, it's, be, it's for good damn reason. I don't cut ties. I'm a, I'm a really easygoing person. If anyone's talked to me on Discord or voice chat, I'm very easygoing. I don't get angry and I don't get mad over things very easily. Despite what my videos from 2013 may have sounded like. You really have to do something inhumane or absolutely childish to really get on my bad side not even to get me mad but just so I can not talk to you I don't want to talk to you if you want to be a child if you don't want to act your age stay away from me I don't associate don't even say my name I don't want anyone associated with me if you want to act like a child if you want to claim that I did something that I didn't do 
don't. Just don't. Keep my name out of your mouth. That's what you're telling me, and that's what I'm telling you. Downhill jam. Definitely took a downhill jam. I'll tell you that right now. Went from super depressing the last in the two episodes ago to an absolute downhill madman spiral. I lied when I said this was the finale. The next episode is the finale. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys for the finale. Um, hopefully Thursday. Um, yeah. Take it easy, have a good one, and I'll talk to you then.